we're going to do a nice uh, hairstyle poly starting with a four on top and just trim it. It's been trimmed recently. You need to go back over. I'm just going to go back over and get these ends. Somebody had cut it, maybe didn't, you know, not a professional, maybe or something like that. But we're going to go back and we're going to neat it up some. Start with a four, kind of open the blade up a little bit, get it about a four and a half there with it. Uh, five would be one inch, according to my scale at least. Four is about three quarter. And uh, just going on there with the four. And get this moved out. So you have to order a few times to really get it. The more you go over that haircut, the better it's going to look as far as the finished results. To a certain extent there. You just go over a couple of times. And just make sure you get all this free and clean. I'm going to kind of stand that up a little bit. I've been cutting James's hair here for years. Uh, he does a good job. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> I started to say give me a good plug. <laughs> uh, this is kind of a brush kind of style, kind of a spiky kind of look he wears sometimes. Kind of a the texture of his hair kind of gives it a brush look, what he's doing more or less. This is simple haircut, you know, and say, well, that, but nobody really cuts it like quite like you do, Mike. But what it is, they don't know what to exactly what to use. If they would use the right guard, see, see, people try to stop here, you know, they're kind of rigid looking here a little bit. Yeah. We're going to get that and blend that in. I'm going to go on through and fade it on through where it stops at. And they wouldn't know it unless they've been professionally trained or, you know, looked at YouTube or something, you know. They wouldn't know what to do. So, so wherever it comes off at right here is where we stop it at with it. If I go on around here, I got a three buzz, okay? Mm. So I got to stop here. I got, I got to make sure that I just do this three right here and just let it stop. And almost it's going to be a, a two action through here too to make it make it fit. Because it's going to be hanging out further than what I can fade it in right here. So I got to actually fade that edge off too with a two and a half. So I'm just going to kind of stand this in. I'll stand it up here a little bit. something like that. You see I still got a ridge here that I'm not going to be able to get out with three so I got to actually fade that in. Get my two and a half blade here. Kind of come here to angle and fade this in. Make sure I get that ridge out right there. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're young, man. You're still young. Don't worry. You ain't 51 yet, are you? <laughs> no, I'm Y'all been fishing any lately? No, I ain't been yet. Yeah. I ain't been much lately. None. I like it, though, but I don't get to go much. I, I could do more than I do. But just don't. <clears> haven't <throat> been any this year. Yes. Ready to put it down, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's back when the when the pine trees are tossing, you know, putting forth the uh, pine cones and pollen, then you can say, you know, it's going to be time to catch the bass on the bed. That's what they say. Oh, okay. I always said that. My, some of my great uncles said that at least. So. Hmm. And I've heard other people say that. They said it kind of goes along with it. Yeah. yeah. If you see them, when you see them tossing, go to the bass bed. Right before that, you know, you can, uh, you know, go out and catch them mass feeding pretty heavy yeah. before they go on the bed, actually. I know I, one day I caught, man, I caught a stringer full of fish. About this time of the year, a little bit later, I'm not sure. Anyway, it was a, a cloudy day, a rainy day, a sunny day, a cloudy day, a rainy, over and over, mm -hmm. raining, stopping, going and coming, boy, and I just mopped up on the fish. Man, I got a mess of fish that day. One of them was about 
I got one about eight pounds that day, I believe. Man. One four, five pounds, three, two, all kind of fish. What did you use? Fish it with a some kind of a, pla a rubber one, you know. Okay. Culprit or something like that. This one I found was a black one. Yeah, I like the black, I like the gray. Plain black. I used to really fish, you know, me and my wife, when we got married, we fished a lot then, but after we got married, we didn't, we didn't fish much. She was really hurting with that pain. She broke her back like 25 years ago. She was suffering with pain, unbearable pain. She didn't hardly stand it. And How'd she break her back? The car wreck. She really suffered. Still walking nice. Oh, yeah, she's getting around. She's getting you know, to Yeah. I'm going to go down to a, about a one. I'm going to open the blade up slightly at the bottom. I'm going to fade this in right here just a little bit. Okay. Uh, you can kind of see what's going on there. Come right here and do the same thing. And they're missing if they don't use guards. There's no way you can take a comb and cut a haircut this smooth this fast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut his haircut seven minutes, probably six or seven minutes maybe. Uh, and I'm about to finish, you know, with it. So there's no way I could take a comb and make this haircut look that good, you know, other than this kind of a guard comb, you know. But, uh, they're missing if they say they're cheating by using a guard, they're messing up. Yeah. Well, that's just gonna cut your time so much. You're gonna have so much better looking haircuts. I knew everything I did one time. I thought it was a, some kind of major sin to use a guard. That meant you couldn't cut hair or something, you know. Yeah. But there's no way you can take that one, one or two tools and do what you need. You know better than your tools are in any business. Can you head down, sir? I'm gonna come in here and let's see. Let's cut this thing here on my side like this. Do the same thing here. 